We're here today because I had a suspicious abnormality on a 3D mammogram. And it's in my head and I need to get it treated and I need to kill this thing. I think I'm going through what every woman goes through right now. I think I'm worried. I want to make sure that we've treated this while it's still early enough so that I don't have to worry about it becoming something bigger and then all of a sudden I have a really big problem. I think right now it's a small problem and I want to make sure that it stays that way. The issue for me is I never expected that I would be a patient for the system that we, we produce. I am the chairman of the board and CEO of a Sonaris Technologies, and Sonaris Technologies is a, an advanced cryoablation company. Um, and for the last seven years of my life, I've been working on cryoablation for breast cancer treatment. Cryoablation for breast, breast tumors was always theoretical for me. It was always, that was something that I was bringing to women, and now I suddenly discovered that I'm a patient also. Okay, now we know what it is. Yes. It's DCIS, which is what we call ductal carcinoma in situ, which is the very early stage of breast cancer, the stage zero. Mm -hmm. Okay? Okay, so, I really appreciate this. No All right. Off we go to cryo. One in eight women will be diagnosed with breast cancer during their lifetime, but I didn't expect it to be me. In the back of my head, I was thinking that it was probably just microcalcifications, and I was overreacting. And now I find out I wasn't at all. So yeah, I'm a little bit teary right now. Just, I didn't want to have this be the diagnosis, but if this is going to be the diagnosis, I'm really, really glad that I'm driving across town right now to go get this thing fixed. I, I've always thought about, I've always thought about Jessica cryoablation and what I was doing to bring it to the world so that women would have a treatment option. I just seriously never thought it would be used on me for breast cancer. Even this morning, coming down here, I was kind of thinking that maybe I was overthinking this and maybe I was overreacting. Um, but now it turns out it wasn't. The effectiveness of the cryoablation procedure was evaluated using a clinical trial called Z1072. It was sponsored by the National Cancer Institute. The purpose of the trial was to determine whether or not cryoablation was effective at killing tumors the size of a nickel or smaller. What the study found is that cryoablation was 92% effective in killing tumors that were the, that were the size of a nickel and 100% effective in killing tumors that were about the size of a dime. My own company system solved my problem. It treated this very early cancer. And I'm tired, but I'm also so incredibly relieved. It's, it's just incredible. I, I just, I'm, I'm so thankful.